I will be giving an overview of uh, your common, commonly used analytical techniques in uh, academia as well as uh, in industrial applications. So just a brief overview of this webinar. Uh, the first section is a discussion of uh, levels, different levels of analytical methodology. And then uh, I will be talking about uh, the four uh, commonly used uh, techniques, which are gravimetry, titrimetry, spectroscopy, and uh, chromatography. Um, let me throw some definitions also. Uh, these terms um, you will hear uh, all throughout the presentation. So you have analyte, which is the uh, component of interest in the sample. And then matrix is the uh, remainder of the sample. And uh, here are some examples. So uh, everything that's highlighted in yellow are your analyte and everything highlighted in blue is matrix. So for example, you have lead in drinking water. Uh, you want to know the concentration of lead. So lead is the analyte and then um, the remaining of the sample, remainder of the sample is water. So you have a water matrix. Okay, for so for example, um, your task is to know or come up with a method to determine the concentration of lead in drinking water. So how are we going to approach uh, this task? Uh, this is best approached by uh, knowing the different levels of analytical methodology. So the very first step is to know the available techniques for this type of uh, analytical task. So um, for lead in water, there are many techniques available. And one of them is uh, graphite furnace atomic absorption spectroscopy or uh, GFAAS. And we will be talking about this briefly uh, in the next section of this webinar. But um, uh, de depending on your goals, um, you select the uh, techniques or technique that, uh, that will suit your purposes. But what is a technique? It's any chemical or physical principle that can be used to study and analyze. So in spectroscopy, specifically absorption spectroscopy, it involves um, atomization of the sample and then absorption of light to create the signal for your spectra. So the combination of both uh, principles uh, collectively is called spectroscopy. So now that you have selected your technique, um, the second step is to, to determine the method for, um, for lead in water. So what is a method? It's the application of a technique for a specific analyte in a specific matrix. So the method that you will use for lead in water will be different from the method that you will use if you know lead is in soil or lead is in blood. And um, uh, we use different methods for these because you have different matrices. Because if you have different matrices, that means you have different interferences. So now that you've selected the, your method, then you can write a set of uh, instructions, so specific steps telling you how to carry out that particular method for that sample. So if you're doing research, uh, you can write, come up with your own procedure, again, based on your uh, goals, and, um, and make sure that you can uh, justify the steps that you include in the procedure. But if you're working for um, just for a standard uh, testing of lead in water, there are uh, different procedures available, such, uh, such as the procedures by AFA, or American Public Health Association, and ASTM, or American Society for Testing and Materials. The last level is uh, protocols. So um, you have to ask uh, the question, okay, I need to determine lead in uh, drinking water, but will my data be uh, submitted to a regulatory agency or will it be used for a court case? So if that's the case, you have to learn or you have to know the uh, protocols set by um, EPA, for example, or Environmental Protection Agency. So if you, um, for the protocols, you have to follow it to a T, you cannot deviate from it. And otherwise, uh, these agencies will not um, uh, will not accept your result. So uh, protocols include, you know, uh, the requirements for calibration curves. Uh, how do you collect your sample? How do you preserve your sample? Uh, how do you validate results? Things of that nature. So um, with this big picture, hopefully, um, I was able. 
hopefully uh, I was able to share the importance of understanding and uh, the analytical technique.